All right, so let's um, work on simplifying some radicals using the method of prime factorization. So uh, I've got the square root of t um, 2100 here. Uh, we could leave it at, at that, but that's not as simple as it could get. Um, we could just get out the calculator and square root, you know, type in square root of 2100 and get some some weird decimal probably. Um, but that's that's not very nice either. So let's see if we can just simplify this and, and get it in its simplest form. And so we'll, we'll, what we can do is we can create a factor tree here um, and just figure out all the prime factors of 2100 um, for a reason, which I'll show you in a second, which, which should become clear. So just, just start dividing. Um, it doesn't matter where you start. Uh, to me, it looks pretty clear that 2100 is is 21 times 100. Okay, with prime factorization, you'll you'll eventually get down to all the prime factors, regardless. So just start anywhere. Uh, 21 is 3 times 7. 3 and 7 are both prime numbers. Uh, the prime number has no positive divisors besides one in itself. I can't divide 3 by anything except 3 and 1, and and not get a remainder. Same thing with 7, so that's as far as that part of the tree is going to go. Um, 100 is 10 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5, and this 10 is also 2 times 5, and 2 and 5 are also prime numbers. Um, so what I've got here is uh, 2100, we could write as the product of... 3 times 7 times, now I'm going to arrange these in a specific way, times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Okay, um, so these are all the prime factors, uh, besides 1, of course, of, of 2100. So if I multiply 3 times 7 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, I'll get 2100. Now, uh, here's, here's the reason why we're doing this. If you look at 2 times 2 and 5 times 5, 2 times 2 is 2 squared, right? 5 times 5 is 5 squared. So what I can do is I can um, take the square root of 2 squared, and I can take the square root of 5 squared, and then, and then those things go on the outside of the radical. Um, in other words, I can I can think of this. I could break this radical in, in, into something that looks like this. Uh, three times seven is twenty-one. So we could say it's the square root of twenty-one times the square root of two squared times the square root of five squared. Right, that's equivalent. Um, so, uh, therefore, well, what's the square root of two squared? That's just two. The square root of five squared is just five. Two times five is ten. So we could say all this is equivalent to ten times the square root of twenty-one, and that's its simplest form. So the purpose of of doing the factor tree of of doing the prime factorization of um, of the radicand is so that we can look for where the there's prime factors that double up so we can think of them as you know there's two um, there are the the prime factor of two occurs twice so we could call that two squared same thing with five five times five is five squared so then that allows us to Square root those things and get them outside of the radical. Um, so that's this is this is the simplest form we can have. Um, all right, now let's let's do one with a cube root, right? So what we want to do is is look for factors that occur three times. So you know if if a five were to occur three times, it'd be five times five times five, which is equivalent to five cubed. And then we could we could we could cube root that and and then move that outside of the radical. So 
So cube rooting something is the opposite uh, from cubing something, raising it to the power of three. So let's let's do the prime factorization here. This one's kind of a a beast, right? But you know, it's my fault. So thirteen thousand five hundred. Let's just say one hundred times one thirty five. Now uh, it looks like five goes into one thirty five. I don't know how many times. Let's just divide one thirty five divided by five. Okay, five times twenty seven. That's equivalent to five times twenty seven. Um, five is a prime number, so that's as far as we can go there. Twenty seven. Let's say three times nine. Nine is equivalent to three times three. All right, so these are all prime numbers: five, three, three, and three. Uh, and then we know that one hundred breaks down into uh, um, five times five times two times two. Right. So actually, um, we've got so all the inside of this radical is equivalent to five times three times three times three uh, uh, times five. So I'm going to put these fives with the other five. So we've got these two fives, and then we've got two twos. So this, we could say, is 3 cubed. And this, we could say, is 5 cubed, right? 3 times 3 times 3 is five is 3 cubed. That's what cubed means. Uh, 5 times 5 times 5 is 5 cubed. Oops. All right. And then 2 times 2 is just 4. So um, if we cube root. 5 we get 5 so let's uh so this radical let's let's write it over here so we're going to cube root the 5 so it becomes 5 we're going to cube root the 3 so it becomes 3 and then 4 sorry buddy you know you don't have another uh 2 to go with you so you have to stay under the radical so uh this is all equivalent to 15 times the cube root of 4. All right. Um, so I gave you 3 here. Uh, the square root of 2,450, the cube root of 68,600, um, and then the fourth root of 324. Pay attention to uh, what kind of radical it is. And then even if these numbers look crazy, just try, you know, uh, even just dividing it by 10, if it looks like you can divide by 10, divide by 2. Use your calculator to help you pick out factors. You don't have to get them, you know, it doesn't really matter because you just keep breaking down the factors until all you're left with is prime numbers. So, um, yeah, all right, good luck.